Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web. And uh, in this video, we're going to be starting a very, very learner game of uh, Pathfinder, the adventure card game. We're going with the first. Oops, we're going with the first mission, Brigadoon, Brigandoon, rather. And uh, oops, will be a second. Right, sorry about that. Okay, so starting off with Brigandoon. And uh, what do we have? Well, we have a villain, Jubrail Vishki, and we have henchmen, which which are bandits. So um, the villain, Jub Jubrail, is in one of these piles. He'll either be in the woods, the waterfront, or the farmhouse. And we have two bandits because we pick one bandit for each extra location. Um, or one henchman for each extra location. And uh, we have two extra locations. So there's a bandit for... So there's a villain and a henchman in each one of these locations. Now what we're going to try and do is close down the locations and defeat the bandit. Easier said than done. We have here our timer, which is the Blessings deck. I'm playing as Valoros, the male human fighter. Um, <clears throat> now he has he's proficient with light armors, heavy armors and weapons. So if I draw my five cards, which I have um, sorry, my four cards, my I have a hand size of four cards. If I draw my four cards, which I'm now shuffling and none of these uh, light armor, heavy armor or weapons then I can uh, shuffle them back into the deck and draw more. Okay so we've got armor, a weapon, a blessing and an ally. Okay so the weapon we have is the dagger. For your combat check reveal this card to roll your dexterity or range die plus 1d4. You may additionally recharge this die to add another 1d4. Uh, when playing another weapon you may discard this card to add 1d4 to the combat check. <coughs> and then we have the wooden shield. Recharge this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by 2. If you are proficient with light armors you may place play another armor on this check. If you played a weapon with the two-handed trait on this deck on this check rather you may not play this card then we have a blessing of the gods now the blessing of the gods um, doesn't really do much but if I encounter this card you automatically acquire it so if I take it from any of these it's mine you discard the card to add one to one die to a check which is the standard uh, che uh, die that I use now, now I can discard this card to explore your location. So each time we have a location, or each time we go to a new location, or the, at the start of the turn, I can um, explore the location. Any other times to explore, I would need to use the Blessing of the Gods or another card that says I can do that. And then finally, you may instead treat this card as if it was the same powers as the top card of the Blessings discard pile. So if the cards that I turn over here is a different one to that and has a special ability. I can use that card to mirror that one. Um, but other than that, these cannot be used. And we have a uh, ally, uh, the Night Watch. Recharge this card to add a 1d10 to your perception check and discard this card to explore the, your location. Now, <coughs> there are different wording you can use on these if I have it right recharge means I place it at the bottom of the deck discard means I put it I, as a, any other discard you just put it to one side and that's it uh, in a discard pile and bury the card I place it under this card and it can't be used again why I would need to do that I wouldn't know and uh, what was the other one did it burn the card? I don't know, I can't remember. There's one that actually um, it gets removed from the game altogether, and I can't remember which one that one is. Um, 
but that's my hand I'm going to leave them kind of face up here we are running we are short of space on camera so I'm just going to leave them there and Valoros is going to go to the firm house first of all but before we do that we turn over the first of all blessings deck and Valoros goes to the firm house he's going to do his explore and he has a long sword uh, the check to get that is strength in melee I have to beat 9 my strength is 1d10 with a melee strength of plus 3 ok so because this you, you can add different dice I can I've already got myself the, these were the dice that you get with the game and I've got myself some more um, I got three sets of uh, role-playing dice so I've taken those dice out so there so we have a d10 that we need which is not that one which is remarkable looks remarkably like that one so I'll put the dice over there so it's d10 plus three now I have to use, sorry not I have to use, I have to get 9, so if I get 7 or more I've done it because I have the plus 3. Now is it a good idea to use the blessings of the gods? Because if I did that I would add another d10. The problem is Burning through these deck, burning through this deck. This is my life. So, if I get rid of all the cards, I'm dead, and I lose the game. So, is that better waiting until I get something serious? Because I don't know. Um, I think it is a bit too early yet. Um, so, I'm just going to roll it and see what we get. So I need a seven. Sorry, I need a six plus because six plus three is nine. I need to equal or get higher. I was thinking you had to get higher. It's equal and equal or more. So I need at least six into the tower. And I got nine. As I hope you can see there. I'll turn it round to camera. Oops. Well, it's moved anyway now, so never mind. So I get nine, so I actually get that card, and that goes in hand. The thing is, now I have to get rid of one card because I can only carry four cards. So, which one's it going to be? Um. Uh, I think the Night Watch card is a little. In fact, no, because if I'm going to use anything, I'm going to be using the long sword, which I think is two-handed. Um, I think the long sword will be two-handed weapon, so I'll keep on with that because I need. I can use that. I'll get rid of the wooden shield. Um. So that's my discard pile there. Okay. I don't need. That's the end of my turn because I can't. Do, in fact, it's not the end of my turn because I could do something else. I'm going to keep on with that. I'm going to use the blessing of the gods again. Well, I'm going to use the blessing of the gods rather. I'm going to take that back with wooden shield. It's not the end of my turn. I forgot I can use that. Bear in mind, this is a very, very learner game for me. I've not played it before. Um, I've watched videos and I'm getting to understand it I think I just want to make sure I've got it down so this is the first time I've ever played this I've not played it with anybody else so I'm hoping I'm playing right so it's not the end of my turn yet so I didn't need to discard down so I've taken the golden shield back I'm going to use the blessing of the gods to search or explore again here explore again and we get the bandits and this guy is one of the henchmen uh, check to defeat his combat strength of 8 now I'm assuming 
Well, it just says combat, check to defeat on combat 8. I'm assuming. Um, That that means um, that I attack with strength, which will be melee. Oh, hang on. Before you encounter, recharge a card of your choice from your hand. Okay, so I'll do that. Um, again, I think the wooden shield is a bit useless because I'll be using the long sword. So I'm going to use the long sword. Uh, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength on melee dice plus 1d8 for your combat check reveal this card to roll your strength on melee die plus 1d8 plus 1 you may additionally discard the card to add another 1d6 ok so I can get a 1d8 as well with a plus 1 so I've already got a plus 3 for the um, 10 sided dice so it's 10 plus 3 and using the long sword, it just says reveal, it doesn't say I have to do anything else. So I've revealed it, it's there, and I get plus three on that, and plus one on that. So it's a, whatever I roll, it's a plus four, and I just have to get eight. Oops. Now that I went into the dice, uh, dice tower, so we'll try again. Well. The combat check is 8, I've got 8 on that die and 7 on that one. I've got it definitely, so as you can see, it says the combat strength of 8, I've got more than that, so he's defeated. Uh, if defeated I can immediately attempt to um, close the location. Now to close the location, um, summon and defeat a random monster. Okay, so I do need the box. I'll put the box down here. Summon and defeat a random monster. Okay. So we have the monster deck. Let's shuffle and let's see what we get. The random monster is a skeleton with a strength of 8. So we're going to do the same again. We want to reveal the long sword. Okay, I have a plus 3 on the d10 and I've got plus 1 on the d8. That's plus four altogether. There you go. I've defeated that. That means the firm house is now closed. So the villain cannot go anywhere. So, that's the end of my turn. I draw up to four cards. I have another long sword. Okay, and we draw now another blessing card. And now Valoros can move to somewhere else. And you're just going to move across to the waterfront. Uh, that went easy. I've probably done this wrong. But I'm not going to go any further just in case I have. So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully everything has gone right. In the next video we'll do the waterfront mission. So uh, join us then, why don't you? And until then, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.